Welcome back, legends, to another Budfellas Deep Dive. Today, we're exploring a question that confuses nearly every new grower at some point. Why do cannabis plants grow slowly? While many people assume slow growth is always caused by underfeeding or weak lighting, the truth is far more complex. Plants are living systems with internal rhythms, genetic limitations, environmental pressures, and physiological processes that all influence how quickly, or slowly, they develop. As always, this video is purely educational and complies with UK law and YouTube guidelines. We're analysing plant behaviour, not giving instructions on how to grow. Before we jump in, remember, this channel is for viewers over 18 and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a licence. What we are doing is learning plant science and helping beginners avoid common mistakes. Let's begin with the foundation. Genetics. Some strains are simply slow. Indica-dominant plants may grow compact and steady, building thick stems before producing height. Autoflowers often grow in unpredictable bursts due to their rapid life cycle. Even two seeds of the same strain can express different phenotypes. One might grow rapidly, while the other takes its time. Growth speed is not a universal trait. It's a genetic expression influenced by the plant's lineage. Another major factor is root development. Slow growth above the soil often means the plant is investing energy into building its root system. Roots are the foundation. They absorb water, anchor the plant, and support nutrient uptake. When roots are establishing themselves, the plant may appear slow above ground. This isn't a problem. It's simply the plant prioritizing its underground infrastructure. Once roots expand, top growth usually accelerates. Environmental conditions play an enormous role. Temperature affects metabolism. Too cold and the plant slows dramatically. Too hot and it becomes stressed, diverting energy towards survival instead of growth. Cannabis thrives when environmental signals match what the plant evolved with. Sudden temperature drops, inconsistent light cycles, or unstable humidity disrupt internal processes, slowing growth while the plant adapts. Light behaviour also influences growth speed, not just through intensity, but through spectrum, duration, and distribution. If light is insufficient for the plant's needs, growth slows as photosynthesis becomes limited. If light is too intense, the plant may exhibit stress responses, tightening its structure and reducing leaf expansion. Cannabis adjusts its growth rhythm based on available energy. A plant might grow slower simply because it's conserving resources under a particular lighting condition. Nutrient availability is another commonly misunderstood influence. Slow growth is not always caused by deficiency. In fact, excess nutrients can slow plants dramatically. When nutrient concentration becomes too high, the plant experiences osmotic stress, which disrupts water uptake. The plant then prioritises restoring internal balance instead of producing new growth. Nutrient imbalances, including incorrect ratios of nitrogen, calcium or magnesium, can also cause stunting even when nutrients are abundant. pH instability is one of the most overlooked causes of slow growth. When pH drifts outside the plant's preferred range, nutrient uptake becomes inconsistent. Even if nutrients are present, the plant can't absorb them efficiently. This leads to subtle deficiencies that slow development. Slow growth in this context isn't caused by lack of nutrients, but by the plant's inability to access what's already there. Water behaviour is equally important. Overwatering restricts oxygen at the root zone, slowing metabolic processes and stunting growth. Underwatering limits nutrient mobility and causes the plant to conserve energy. Both extremes disrupt the plant's internal pressure, turgor, affecting leaf expansion, cell division, and overall vitality. 
Airflow also influences growth speed. Plants rely on gentle movement of air to strengthen stems and support transpiration. Without airflow, leaves can stagnate, moisture accumulates and the plant slows down. Excessive airflow, however, triggers the plant's stress responses, redirecting energy to structural reinforcement instead of growth. Let's talk about plant stress, one of the biggest reasons cannabis slows down. Stress can come from light, temperature, nutrients, water, root disturbance, or physical changes in the environment. Cannabis responds to stress hormonally. When stressed, it produces compounds like abscisic acid, which slows growth to protect the plant. Even a minor stress event can pause development temporarily while the plant recalibrates. Another overlooked factor is pot size. When cannabis becomes root-bound, meaning roots have filled the available space, it naturally slows growth. The plant senses restricted root zones and adjusts its development accordingly. Even without instruction, this biological principle reveals how closely plant behaviour is tied to root environment. Vapour pressure deficit, VPD, though technical, is another key concept. VPD influences how quickly water evaporates from the leaves. When humidity and temperature are out of sync, the plant either transpires too quickly or too slowly. This imbalance affects nutrient mobility, leading to, yes, slower growth. VPD essentially controls how efficiently the plant moves fluids through its system. Plant age also plays a role. Seedlings often appear slow because they are building internal structures. Mid-veg plants grow rapidly as they expand their canopy. Near maturity, growth slows again naturally as the plant shifts energy toward reproduction. Growth speed is not consistent throughout the plant's entire life. It follows a biological rhythm. Another subtle but important point, cannabis sometimes slows down for completely natural reasons. Some strains enter pause periods where they refine their structure internally before resuming outward growth. These pauses can last days or even weeks and are part of the plant's genetic programming. Let's not forget root temperature. Cold roots slow everything down. Warm roots speed things up. Even if the air temperature is perfect, cold root zones can stunt development significantly. Roots operate at a different temperature sensitivity than leaves, making this an often misunderstood cause of slow growth. Plants also slow down when transitioning between stages. For example, when shifting from vegetative to reproductive phases, cannabis reallocates nutrients and hormones. This transition period may appear as a stagnation in height or leaf production, but internally, the plant is undergoing a complex reorganization. CO white's availability also influences growth speed. Cannabis uses carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and, when levels are low, especially in enclosed spaces, the plant's ability to convert light into energy becomes limited. This leads to slower leaf and branch development. Even though CO imine enrichment cannot be discussed in an instructional way, the biological principle remains. Photosynthesis is driven by carbon availability. Finally, cannabis slows down when its expectations of the environment don't match reality. Plants evolved to interpret signals like daylight hours, seasonal cues and temperature patterns. When these signals don't align with what the plant expects for its stage of life, it may hold back growth until conditions stabilise. In summary, Slow cannabis growth can result from genetics, root development, environmental fluctuations, nutrient imbalances, pH instability, watering behaviour, airflow, stress responses, stage transitions, root temperature and natural biological rhythms. Slow growth is not always a sign of poor health. In many cases, it's a sign that the plant is adapting, protecting itself or building foundational structures before accelerating again. Thanks for tuning in, legends. If you're enjoying these educational deep dives into plant behaviour and cannabis science, stay locked in. More episodes are on the way. This is Bud Fellas, signing out.
This video is proudly sponsored by Spider Pharma, one of the leading names in grow lights and tents. If you're serious about healthy plants and bigger harvests, Spider Pharma has the gear you need. Check out their full range through the link in the description. And don't forget to use our discount code BUDFELLAS at checkout for 8% off your order. Big thanks to Spider Pharma for supporting BUDFELLAS and plant education.